In this lesson, we are going to discuss the difference between consumer and producer surplus. Consumer surplus is the monetary gain obtained by consumers because they are able to purchase a product for a price that is less than the highest price they would be willing to pay. When we examine where consumer surplus would be on our graph, the point from equilibrium price all the way up to our demand curve. Remember, the demand curve deals with consumers, consumer surplus from price, equilibrium, all the way to our demand curve. Producer surplus is the amount that producers benefit by selling at a market price that is higher than the least that they would be willing to sell for. From equilibrium price all the way down to our supply curve represents producer surplus. Remember, our supply curve deals with those that supply, meaning those that produce. Our demand curve deals with those that consume, those that demand goods and services. Let's take a look at consumer and producer surplus. When the government enacts a price control like a price ceiling. Remember, the theory behind a price ceiling is to keep prices low for consumers. So how does this impact consumer and producer surplus? Well, we find our new price and we find our first plotted point here which is quantity supplied, we bring this point all the way to where it hits our demand curve. And this entire area, this entire area in blue represents consumer surplus. For producer surplus, we find our new price and our first plotted point, which is quantity supplied. From this point on down in red represents producer surplus. Keep in mind the goal is for consumers to benefit from this price ceiling. So this is going to be a larger area than this. However, we have a problem. This area here that I'm shading in black represents consumer and producer surplus that used to be present and it's no longer there. We call this dead weight loss. Dead weight loss is a loss of consumer and producer surplus when the market was at equilibrium. Let's take a look at consumer and producer surplus when the government enacts a price control like a price floor. Remember, the goal of a price floor is to keep prices high so that products will continuously be made. It, in the long run, is supposed to help producers. Well, how does this impact consumer and producer surplus? Well, we find our new price and we bring it to our first point, which is our quantity demanded line. From this point up to demand in blue represents 
consumer surplus. For producer surplus, from our new point, our new price, to our first point, which is our quantity demanded line, this entire area represents in red producer surplus. Remember, the goal is to benefit producers. So, this area here will be larger than this area here. However, we have a problem. In this area that is shaded in black represents a loss of consumer and producer surplus that was present prior to the government enacting this price floor. This area in black represents dead weight loss. Dead weight loss, once again, is a loss of consumer and producer surplus when the market was at equilibrium.